Fede. This video will serve as a quick overview of the new Lynx Motion SSC32 USB version. Uh, one of the biggest advantages to it is the fact that it's USB. Uh, you no longer need a serial uh, to USB converter that plugs into your computer. That used to be the big issue with drivers. Uh, people couldn't get it to connect to their robot because of this. So with this, we have a USB cord plugs directly into it with a uh, USB chip directly on the board. Notice also that this socket right here was made so that you can put a Bluetooth module, plug it in, and you could actually run this wirelessly. We'll talk more about that later. The set of pins 0 through 7 will be the pins that you plug your servos from your robot into. The pins on the inputs and outputs can all be used for powers and grounds uh, to run other equipment and to use for inputs and outputs. You'll also notice on the board that there are eight sets of inputs and output pins. Uh, they're, they're digital or analog, and we can only use four of them, A, B, C, and D, right now. The other four will be addressed in the next version of the software. Another huge advantage to the SSC32U is the fact that the power management has gotten much better. All we have to do now is plug in power and ground to VS1, and automatically, VS1 and VL will be the same. VL is usually used to be the 9 volt battery. We no longer need a 9 volt battery because what happens, the 9 volt battery used to be used to power just this board. So instead what they've done is they've put these two super caps on there that actually smooth out the power so that you don't have to worry about that. So no more 9 volt battery is needed on the VL. Also notice that the VS1, VS2 uh, has two jumpers on it right here. Those two jumpers allow all of these pins to be powered uh, so that you can use them for inputs and outputs and other uh, devices other than just the robot. No jumper is needed on the VS and VL pin over here anymore. By default, internally, it's wired together.